Hey guys, this is the Otomi Warrior, and I'm doing another uh, quick video on my phone. Um, I got my new laptop today. I don't really like it though because um, it's Windows 10, and like uh, filming on there and posting it, posting it to YouTube is harder than I thought. I still have no clue how to do it. It seems like you got to download this app and that app. And man, I just wish I had the Windows 7. I can't, I really can't wait until I get my other laptop repaired. So, and I really need to invest in like a camera so I could just transfer the data. But anyways, um, I didn't want to get too far without doing this because I'm already pretty behind. So I got these uh, video games, I think on the 4th. I think that was a Tuesday. Let me check real quick on this new laptop. Um, my bad. It was the uh, seventh, apparently. Yeah, the seventh. So I I got them this week. I haven't had time to play them because I've just been working, and like we're on twelve hour shifts now. So I really won't have much time to play outside of the weekends. But um, got this. And I wanted to do separate videos, but because, um, just, just for time reasons and whatnot, I was just, I figured I'd just make two videos into one. And which is why I'm not really calling this an unboxing, because I already took the packaging off just to save time. And that would be really awkward trying to open it, op trying to open up the packages while holding this phone, so... Yeah, as much as I really wanted to do, like, separate unboxing videos of these. Um, yeah, this wasn't the choice of Steinsgate, if you catch that reference. So, yeah, um, we got Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, the port to the PlayStation 4. I haven't opened these yet, so that will still be pretty interesting. Um, if you see the cover, not really the best, but... It is what it is. It's cool to have an update. I like I like this dude's head sticking out from there for, for some reason. Um, and I have no clue what the heck this is. This this is odd. That looks creepy. I guess it's a DLC character. So I wonder what type of special moves they have or whatnot. Then you got Modok and Wolverine. A Sea Viper, Rocket Raccoon. And I didn't know that that was... Um, the boss in the back. They did a really good job of blending that in. So, we have on the back here, Unleash Your Ultimate. Ultimate Fighters from the Marvel and Capcom Universities collide again. Fully loaded, including all DLC characters, costumes, and stages. I think that's pretty easy to read. I don't want to have to take too much time to download. So, we'll just skip that. And... We have Ghost Recon Wildlands, which I will probably start playing this tonight. Maybe even after this video loads. So yeah, I got the uh, Peruvian Mission Connection. One, play as you won't, take down the cartel, lead your team solo or in co-op. Looking Really looking forward to that. Let's go ahead and just open this one up and just see what's in here. Alright, this doesn't have a code or anything, so it's probably on the back or whatnot. So here's the game. Um, I'm really interested in looking in here because it's supposed to come with like a limited edition comic book, but we'll see. We will see. Alright, so here it is. I was expecting a little something bigger, but I guess it didn't hit me. It would have to come in this if I didn't get an additional packaging. So, this is cool. Um, yeah, World Warriors and Worlds begin. Ooh, Chris Redfield. Ooh, he's so cool. <laughs> I, ha I have my statue of him. Check out my video of that. I love Chris Redfield. I was bummed that he wasn't on the front cover. But you had Albert Wesker. Actually, let's look at that again. Because I keep thinking. Here oh, here he is. He kind of looks like Kent from Amnesia Memories. But um, even the way he does his glasses. So I um, probably got to read this to y'all. 
another time. So yeah, this is a beautiful comic. And you know, thinking about, I like how it's really short because I just, I just don't really have time to do much because I'm always sleeping. So I can just probably catch up on this. So this, I love the artwork. Yeah, that's that's cool how they have it kind of like a manual because usually you don't get anything but like a pamphlet advertising the next game or something for support. And so here's Chris Redfield again. He's so cool. Man, I really wish that the next game would have like Pierce and just um, the whole Resident Evil 6 cast. But I know that's not going to happen. But hey, one can dream, right? So anyways, um, I guess I will go ahead and end this video here. Again, sorry that it's, it had to be two in one video. Um, as far as a quick pre-impression of this, I think this game is going to be really good. Really, really looking forward to playing this and I'm looking forward to playing this too. Definitely will be trying to do some live streaming of both if I can. Um, so yeah, that being said, uh, feel free to check out my live streams. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video so I can watch a little bit more gaming sins or actually I'm watching the Uncharted for a Thief's End gaming sin from a uh, Dardagon or Dardagon. So yeah, once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and pop Ghost Recon Wildlands. Or you know, I might play a little bit of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. It's just depends on how I'm feeling. But yeah, um, if you happen to like this video or you're just a fan of video games slash ultimate game stuff in general, or even a fan of drink testing, taste testing, toys, reviews, stuff like that, then feel free to check out the rest of my channel. And if you happen to like what you see, then please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, do what you got to do. And I will see you guys in the next video, which should happen uh, in a few minutes. At, in an hour at most with some live streaming and stuff. Alright guys, talk to you later. Bye.